Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben. In this short video, I'm just going to be giving my commentary. Got more of a podcast theme to it. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing, unboxing, just the PlayStation VR 2 along with the charging station. Now, PlayStation does have an official charging station. I didn't go with that one only because, well, saw some bad things about it and saw some pictures that I wasn't liking. Overall, the charging station that I'm going to have linked in the description of this video. This is the first charging station that I purchased um, that actually works out of the box, works as advertised, no issues. I got this idea from a channel called Rav Cave. So big shout out to you. I told him in the Discord I was gonna give him a shout out because back when this product released, everybody was getting their charging stations, their VR headset. Some people was looking into prescription lenses, which can enhance your experience, depending on your eyesight. Um, as of right now, I don't know if I'm going to need the prescription lenses. When I put it on, uh, when I try Horizon Call of the Mountain for like five minutes, it was clear in game. There were some blurry text, um, which that can be adjusted through like recalibration or readjusting the headset. But uh, generally, getting everything set up, uh, you see, I'm just unboxing the pieces that comes with the charging station so that you can assemble. The charging station is gonna have, of course, you're gonna be charging the left and the right controller for the VR headset. You can put the headset directly on the charging station, you know, sort of as a placeholder. And you can also have room for the headphones uh, that you're gonna be using for VR so that you can get that 3D audio experience. So I'm using the Steel Series some headset, the Nova 7P. I think I did like a community tab of it like a little while back. But um, getting it, and getting everything unboxed, hooked up. Um, PlayStation does a fabulous job as giving you step by step directions um, for their equipment. You know, and it's all built into the PlayStation 5 software. So. You just see in the video, you know, me ripping some things apart, um, me showcasing some items here, here and there. And in terms of VR live streams for the channel, uh, that will come once I get my desired capture card. I'm still reorganizing and always trying to improve my setup. And when I present something, of course, I want it to be comfortable for the audience. Uh, but I also want it to be comfortable for me as well. And there are certain things that I would need and want going forward if I'm going to be bringing back the live streams on this platform. I will say this though. Does it cost more than a console itself? Yes. PlayStation 5, you're looking at $400, $500, depending on what version you get. This or this list. This costs more than this, um than the system. Guy at Best Buy. Uh, the max warranty I could get was two years. It wind up being just short of eight hundred dollars. Uh, I have to go back and look at the final you know numbers, but uh, it's what I expected. Um, at this stage of the game, you know, once you do your homework on certain things. Um, it's just a part of the game. It was a product that I wanted to invest in because not only do PlayStation brings great first party content, um, they always perform. And it's another reason to be invested in the PlayStation ecosystem because the PlayStation VR 2, as of the time of this video, it's really only compatible with the PlayStation 5 when we are talking about gaming, okay? So 
I know that PlayStation have games on PC, they're non VR games, and that's amazing because that's opening up a different audience. But they're still have like a business mindset and it's just a lot of choices and options of today uh, when it comes to this technology. And, you know, this is another step forward in my personal opinion. Um, you see the headset here, things like that. I think the cable that comes with it is like, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's like 14 feet out of the box. Um, don't quote me on that, but the, the cable is, you know, it is long enough in case you want to like go a little bit into your play area or it gives you enough space you can expand it if you wish um I, I don't think i will expand mines but it's just an option for those of you that's interested you can look into that option and overall uh the experience getting this set up was pretty smooth i'm going to be doing a deep dive into it videos looping and I can't wait. So after I finish Ratchet and Clank, I'm gonna pause the video right here. After I finish Ratchet and Clank with the part on PlayStation 5, I will be doing a deep dive into VR and I'm going to be playing from start to finish Horizon Call of the Mountain on the PlayStation VR 2. So want to keep this video short and simple. Until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching.